Hello people, um, Viv going live from York. Um, I just wanted to do a quick one today because I've been listening to some really good stuff online recently and it's something that I'm thinking of doing in 2019 and I should just go with it now I've told, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. Um, so I know anybody who's been watching some of my lives since I started doing them that we've had some ups and downs just with things changing in the way family life is going on and stuff like that so one of the things that I watched someone else talk about was the idea of having like a I can't remember what he called it but I'm going to call it a gratitude box and it's it's supposed to be for business people but I quite like the idea there was a suggestion of doing it with the whole family um having something where depending on how your day has been whether it's been good or bad and I do hate those words um but that is what we tend to call things good or bad um so if you've had a bad day writing down what went wrong and how you felt about it and just having a sealed box that you post it in and you do that every day or every other day or whatever and you put in the good things and the bad things and then it's a sealed box and sort of after christmas next year and i can't believe i'm talking about christmas next year um you open it and sort of review your year and realise how much you've moved from where you were and you look through all the good things and have like a, a laugh about how well things went and then the bad things and think, well, you know, wasn't sort of the end of the world. And I just love the idea of sort of finding gratitude in all the things that happens to people because I know I have um, found things difficult with like my son going to college and stuff like that, but there's been some really good things that have come out of that you know, watching your children grow up and become independent and find new friends and discover new stuff has been really amazing. Um, my relationship with my daughter has changed because obviously I don't have my son around anymore. So that there's been challenging things with that, but I'm loving having that time with her. And I just loved the idea of being able to post stuff. And what you also do is you post it and you sort of let it go. So if you've had a bad day, you write it, you write how you feel, you post it in the sealed box so you can't take it out. And that idea of just then letting that go and moving on to the next day and having that sort of free space to look forward to the next day, basically. Um, so it's something I'm thinking of doing and I think I am going to do it. And I just love the idea if anybody else wants to join me, then we could then maybe share this time sort of next year well after Christmas next year when you open them and come up with any aha moments or those things where you look back and go oh actually these similar things kept coming up I wonder if that's something I could look at and review about what's going on in my life or um, just looking at the highs and the lows in just a different way because obviously it'll be at the end of the year so I just thought that was a really nice idea um and I thought I'd share it. And if anybody who does want to join me, it'd be really great if you want to comment below. Maybe we can have a like a little party with it sort of after Christmas next year, which I really can't believe I'm saying Christmas next year. But um, for me, I think it would just be really good sometimes to write down how I'm feeling, except that that's just me having a human experience because that's what we're all going through. But then, you know, posting it in that box is letting it go and looking forward to sort of the new day but also celebrating the highs because I know even though sometimes I found it difficult getting used to um, my son being at college for example um, I've also there's been some really good stuff that's come out of that and there's been some really good stuff with what he's experiencing and putting those in there and looking back over the year as to how things have changed because things do change really quickly when you've got well when you've got kids basically but definitely teenage kids um, I think that would just be a really nice way to sort of honour where my kids have got to, where I've got to, maybe where my business is going and all the ideas I've got for the new year. Um, so yeah, comment below if you'd like to join in. I think it's a really lovely idea. I just need to now find a shoebox. So if anybody has a spare shoebox, let me know. In fact, I could do with two because I'm sure my daughter might want to join me in this and maybe maybe my son and my husband, maybe we can have a family one and then I can have my own sort of business one. So I just thought I'd put that idea out there. I think it's a really nice idea to re to review the year and see that the highs and the lows just make you more of a rounded person and that everybody has them. So just thought I'd share that. Um, yeah, I'll sign off now. 
Take care, everybody. Bye.